Hi everyone. Today I will talk about our recent work on feature normalization and data augmentation, a new data augmentation scheme based on feature normalization, which could be applied to various applications such as computer vision, natural language processing, speech recognition, etc. Many works have explored that feature normalization, such as batch normalization, could help stabilize the train and boost the performance. Normalization is typically performed after each layer of the neural networks. It aims to standardize the input to the next layer by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. Here we show five most popular normalization methods and how they compute the statistics. In the figure, each green voxel represents an operation unit. Below, we display the extracted information. These extracted feature normalization moments contain very useful information. For example, the extracted moments of positional normalization could reflect the statistics of each pixel, which could be an important feature to be used. Here we show how these extracted moments look like. We could notice that the extracted cats and the Mona Lisa's moments successfully captured the general structure information of the features. Data augmentation is a widely used and a powerful technique that creates synthetic data from existing data. It acts as a regularizer and helps reduce overfitting when training a machine learning model. As one of the most popular data augmentation schemes, label perturbing data augmentation aims to augment the data by perturbing the inputs and labels. In the illustration, we show an example of perturbing the input pixels and labels by mix up and cut mix. However, these perturbations are usually operated at pixel level, which might not be flexible enough to be used in hidden layers of neural networks for various applications and architectures. Given this, we propose to use feature normalization for data augmentation on the basis of the label perturbing scheme. As is shown, feature normalization could be an important element to augment the data. Therefore, we propose moment exchange, or MoX, to encourage using extracted moments. Given an input image, we will get deep features up to each layer. Normalizing operation extracts moments from features, and the denormalizing operation re-injects the extracted moments to the features. To begin, we fit two different inputs into the model. The original normalizing and denormalizing operations are to extract the moments and re-inject the moments. In MoX, we propose to exchange the extracted moments and re-inject the swamped normalization constants to the features. Then, we assign lambda and 1 minus lambda to the corresponding output for the training process. With such simple data perturbation by exchanging the feature normalization as well as the corresponding labels, MoX demonstrates its efficacy across several recognition benchmark datasets, where it improves the generalization capability of highly competitive baseline networks with remarkable consistency. First, MoX is able to help boost the model performance with various architectures. Second, MoX could be compatible with existing data augmentation methods and achieve the best performance. Then, we find the pre-trained classification model with MoX could also be used to initialize the object detection model with higher performance. Also, MoX shows its edge considering model robustness. Beyond the image classification, MoX also works for 3D classification. Recently, MoX has been used as a main component for COVID-19 detection network design and show its clear advantage over other networks. Last but not least, MoX is lightweight and not restricted in computer vision. It could be used with different normalization methods. Here we show MoX could also help boost the performance on speech recognition and machine translation in comparison with highly competitive baselines. For more details, please feel free to come to our poster of this talk. Thank you.